forgiveness. So this is our time to let go and let God. So I ask you to just close your eyes and take a nice, easy breath in. And then with the exhale, this is the letting go part. Let go, let go, let it go. And with your next breath in, I want you to breathe in the love of God. Breathe in that breath of God that breathed you the moment you were born. Something put air into your lungs, didn't it? And with the exhale, again, let go of any agendas. Past from this morning or where you're going to go after you get done here today. Let it go. There's nothing that will change anything for the next five to six minutes. So I want you to just take in through the power of your imagination. We all have been given that. The power of your imagination. I want you to go to a place where you feel safe. And for many of you, you've done this now for several years with me. So many of you already have your place you go to right away on Sunday mornings. So whether that place in your mind's eye where you feel safe is real, it's a place in your house, it's outside, on your deck, or in your garden. So many people go in their mind's eye to the ocean, to a creek, to the forest. There's no wrong way here. This is your imagination and your place where you go to feel calm and to feel safe. So once you have that in your mind's eye, I want you to imagine, I want you to imagine an angel in front of you. So wherever you are in your safe place, I want you to imagine an angel in front of you whose wings are folded down. So you really wouldn't even notice this is an angel except you can tell by the energy field that this angel carries that it is a special human being, not a human being, a special entity, a special spirit sent to you right now for calmness, for guidance, to remind you there's nothing to worry about. And now as you notice, this angel is about to spread its wings. But as it spreads its wings, you notice this angel only has one wing. There's the other part is missing. Now I want you to use your imagination as this angel points to you. And imagine another one wing coming out of your shoulder. Just one wing. Now this may feel awkward, but I want you to look into the angel, the spirit guide's eyes. And there is something about it that you know there is some kind of meaning here behind this. What is this angel trying to show us? By having a wing missing from itself, as well as a wing missing from our own back. There is a message here where this angel is coming now towards you. And this angel is putting its arm around you, saying, we need to fly together. I cannot fly without you, and you cannot fly without me. We need each other to soar.
So I want you to just imagine yourself being raised up from the ground where you are sitting or standing or laying and feel you and this angel elevating, whether it's two feet or 10 feet or a thousand feet above the ground in which you sit right now. And take a look down at your current world and see how small it looks when we raise ourselves above our current field of vision. You're safe. You and your angel have got this. There's no, you're not going to fall. You've got it. Take a moment to just bask in looking at your world, your home, your yard from a different, higher perspective where you can see how really little and minuscule our lives really are. And when we look from the bigger picture, it's easier to see the connection for all of us. And now just feel yourself with your angel who's got its arms around you. Just feel yourself coming back down slowly until you touch the ground very softly. And bringing yourself back to your safe space. Now, whatever way feels right for you to thank your angel for this experience today. For taking you in flight. To experience the reality of our lives. There is so much a bigger picture to all of our lives. So as you thank your angel, know that your angel is never, never away from you. May not physically be in sight, but energetically, he or she is always there. As you now bring your awareness back to your space, whether you are at home, on your chair or couch, or whether you are out there on the lawn in your lawn chair, whether you are out in your cars. So just slowly bring your awareness back. As we say, thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. Hmm.